My next guest is one of those uh, actors uh, about whom you can say I'll go to any movie that he's in. At least I can. Uh, I, I think he's marvelous on the screen, and I always look forward to seeing him. Uh, all the way back from Brief Encounter, which is the first film I ever <coughs> remember seeing him in, up through The Third Man and lately Charge of the Light Brigade. He must have made a hundred films. Uh, he's a very unpredictable man, and uh, he once came on one of my shows in the United States and fell asleep while uh, I was talking. But uh, because he was Trevor Howard, I, I forgave him and asked him back, will you welcome, please, one of the finest actors to come out of this country or any one, Mr. Trevor Howard. I hope you don't mind my... Would you like an ashtray? Oh, he's got one. Oh, there you are. Every kind of service. <coughs> I, uh... I know, I've given up smoking, too. It's one of these shows that does it to me. You've given up smoking, yes. and yet you took it up again for me? I feel That's guilty right. about that. Oh, right. well, I'll give it up in a minute. I finished it. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> One t I don't know if you actually fell asleep on the show or not, but one time you had moved down and some other guests were out talking and, and they came back to you and you were... Really? Well, you did fall asleep. You'd put pajamas on and everything. It was, uh, well, it was hot it. there at that time, wasn't it? I, <laughs> yeah, I, it was. Anyway. I, I've often wanted to do the same thing my, myself. I, I always like to learn as much as I can about you because I've wanted to be Trevor Howard many times in, in my life. And uh, one thing I found out about you that I didn't know was that... Um, you had to get arrested to go into the army, or, or, or some, something like that. Does that does that ring a bell? I was arrested, but that yeah. was because I was in a, what we call in this country, in a repertory company in Harrogate, which is in Yorkshire, mm -hmm. and it was run by two dear old ducks, ladies, uh, mm -hmm. who uh, <laughs> I used to get my mail to the theatre, and they used to intercept the uh, calling up papers, and I. They, they did. They came in the middle of a show and arrested me, and that was the first prison I went to. I'd been to several since, several subsequent prisons in the world since then. But I, the, my first, uh, uh, <coughs> what was I going to say, pleasure, my first entrance into the army was into prison. Because you didn't get your papers. <laughs> because I w didn't turn up, yes. Yes. Yes, thanks to the two old ducks. These days, people get arrested in order not to go into the army, because if you've been arrested, you uh, aren't supposed to be able to go in, but... Uh, ah, but I was arrested into the army. Because of the yes, army. Yes, yes. Into the army, in an yeah. army detention camp. Because. Did they actually put you, keep you in prison and put you on prison food and put you behind bars? Well, they and... put an awful lot of heavy things on my back and made me run around squares and things. Mm -hmm. and, they gave you a uniform before they put you oh, in the Oh, yes, picture. because, you see, you have to salute, and they didn't like yeah. you until you saluted them. You have to put the uniform on first. I made quite sure of that. It's a flying uniform. start to a military career, isn't yes, it? Yes, it did help. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Does that uh, keep you from advancing in the Army, the fact that you came yes, in through the prison it door? it took or... me a long time to get anywhere. <laughs> and, uh, fortunately, uh, I'm here now, you know. I think perhaps because I went to so many prisons, I avoided uh, a lot of combat. How do you take to discipline, uh, army discipline? You interesting, uh, interesting. I didn't, and never could <laughs> take to army discipline. Uh, <clears throat> since I've been fortunate enough to arrive at a certain stage in my profession, I would like to make it quite clear that I am uh, and as all actors are and should be, extremely disciplined. Yes. Uh, but uh, no good actor could possibly be a good soldier, whereas any good soldier could not possibly be even a bad actor. <laughs> in other uh, words, I discipline does mm -hmm. not exist for uh, an actor in, mm -hmm. in the army and... Uh, I, well, I mean, it doesn't even get as far as, a, as, a, as, any, as an army officer beginning to be an actor. We've made that point. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Twice, in fact. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, Couldn't think, think of anything else to say. Yes, Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fellows friends? Um, oh, yes. yes, we met in Ireland. Oh, let's get back to Ireland. I saw your little bit. Listen to it at the back. All right. It's, well, just for a second. Okay. But this, you see, I've just spent a whole year in the South west, the nearest point to your country. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is an extraordinary thing. They say good evening at 12 o'clock in the morning. 
Uh, it is good evening. That's before you have lunch, if you do mm. have lunch. And uh, if the sun comes out, they pull the drapes. They, they really only like it to have that, what they call a nice, soft day. Uh, it, a total mist. My wife came down for two or three weeks, mm. and suddenly the mist lifted. And she said, "Goodness me, there are mountains over there." Do you know? D can you corroborate that? I'm talking about the dingle. We call a soft class of a day. Is it? Yes. When the rain is lashing down, then you go out and play tennis because it's soft class oh, of a no day. No tennis courts where I was. There were fifty-two pubs and nowhere to eat. Do you know? I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> I'm talking about the. The Dingle Peninsula, you may not have been there. The Kinsale and that kind Yes, of thing. but even further south than that, yes, south. yes. Where did you eat if there was nowhere to eat? Well, we saw, there was a supermarket, but I can't cook, so I sort of bought sort of raw sausages and things and warmed them up. Yes. We have an island, we have a thing called the Licensed Bicycle Shop. You can buy a bicycle Why? I mean... I think you can buy a pint of stout at the same time, is it? Yes, yes. They're, they're fifth, that's what I mean about the pubs, because they're, you wouldn't know they were pubs. It's a grocer's shop and a yes. bicycle shop and yes. a kind of automobile repairs at the same time, but it's licensed, it's the great thing you can buy a drink. Yes. Licensed, that's what licensed means. Yeah, you see that yes. sign everywhere, licensed. No, the thing called know. the Holy Hour, like the public house at 2.30 until 3.30. That's when they swivel out all the sawdust and all the broken bottles. The, uh, the, the, but I was living in a place the called night, the yes. Holy Ground. Dingle. I wish you have to go there. I don't know why it was called Holy Ground. I had, that's where I lived, on Holy Ground. What were you doing there? That's ironic for you to be well, living. I wouldn't like to tell you, uh, really, what I was doing there. Perhaps you will after this station break. We'll be right back. We'll coax it out of you. Tomorrow night, uh, Kenneth Tynan will be here, Jack Hawkins, the film actor, and uh, former Labor government minister, Lord George Brown, and a Bobby, or police constable, John Ellis, will be here. Di what should I know about uh, Mr. Lord? Is it Lord Brown? I, uh, it's very hard for me to keep everyone's titles Lord straight. George well Brown. He's Lord George together, Brown. Lord George Brown. The hyphen. Yes. He's, because there are hundreds of Lord Browns. I've well, read about him many three, yeah. times. He's a very colourful man. Isn't mm. he? Right. You ever, either of you met him? I haven't, but I'm sure. No, 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 no. No? No? No. Trevor, what were you doing in that town that you can't tell us about? <laughs> Which town? Well, you said oh, you went off. Uh, oh, you, you would never. I wasn't a town. To tell you what I was doing there in that area. That was no town. That was a sort of few, few sort of old huts which sheep lived in. They, uh, we had to live in a tent to start with, and then they built a motel because they realised we were going to be there for a year. Uh, <laughs> I was making a picture there. You were making mm. a picture. I, I would have guessed that, but I wasn't sure. Well, I wouldn't have lived there otherwise, you see. <laughs> but, 